Are you looking for religious freedom? Yeah! yeah! Do you care about your family? <laughs> Welcome to the New England Colonies, where you definitely won't regret leaving England. Come down to Massachusetts and Massachusetts your future. What have you enjoyed about New England? Well, I moved here for the great religious freedom I got, and but also because when I moved here, I got a decent piece of that juicy fur trade. And guess what came with that fur trade? Even more profit. And due to the vast amount of land available here, that we definitely did not take from anyone else that was divine intervention, we can fish and likely farm and develop a huge business in Walden Lumber. Oh, and uh, what about you? Well, I moved here for the beautiful untouched land that I got for free. This is way much better than my 3,000 pound a month under the bridge apartment back in Bexley Heath. And what about you? You look well fed. Well, yes I am, because I used to be in agriculture, and I can say after hours of not working on my crops, it is completely overrated compared to the fish and lakes here in New England. And what has your experience in the native colonies been? Hi, I'm the native chief and I just want to say thanks to the white settlers for amazing trade and almost killing us off with their chlamydia and smallpox. Hi, I'm John Winthrop and I believe that our colony is a city on a hill. It is so great enough that it can serve as a model for these other worse colonies. So just come join us today and become a great part of colonial history as you settle in the greatest colony that England has ever created. As you can see, plenty of settlers have enjoyed the territories of New England, but uh, I'll let the scenery speak for itself. a famous and incredible English philosopher who is the father of liberalism, I can say that moving to the New England colonies is the right decision for anyone. And to quote myself, a man's experience is through observation and inferring and helping create the government and economy. I can say that moving here is the right decision for me because if you want to keep slaves to do work on labor intensive crops like sugar or cotton or tobacco, then move to the middle and south colonies where the economy runs off of the back of dehumanized slaves. But if you want to be a, be a bit more on the humanitarian side like me, well, New England colonies are the right choice for you. Now, if ever comes a day in which you don't like your own colony because you're being religiously oppressed again by people that have established a theocracy to escape their own oppression, well, you can just establish your own colony right next to it. That's what I did. Massachusetts was absolute dog order for me, so I got on my own boat and sailed down south and then I found this island, which I named Rhode Island. Then I took the other land around it to establish my own colony just right next to Massachusetts. And here, we practice real religious freedom. And we don't persecute women and burn them on a cross because they were acting sus. If you sign up for the New England colonies now, you'll get a free 100 anchor land grant per person from our head rights system. And as an added bonus, the more people you bring here, the more head rights you get. Each worth 50 acres a head. And if the people you're transporting are worried about how they're going to be able to pay you back some of the expenses for the trip that they are about to take, don't worry. Just tell them to work for us for a couple of years, and then they can also be free and have some rights. Better than none. When the original settlers of this beautiful land realized that they would need a government, they made the Mayflower Compact, a revolutionary document that solidified the governing ideals of the colony. Compared to England, how do you feel about moving here? Do you think that the Mayflower Compact is better than the King's Strict Ideals? Before, my family and I couldn't practice Puritanism in England. But when we moved here with the rest of the Puritan and Separatists, we were able to establish the first permanent settlement. Even with the tough winters, we were able to survive because of the Indians with their fur, farming, hunt, and hunting techniques. Without them, well, all of us would probably have died. After we had this little festival where we gave our thanks, I guess you could call it Thanksgiving. And then after that, we almost killed them off with disease. I'm just so glad that this place is so great for my family. Are you a family guy like him? 
Our society is centered around family. Hell, the more children you have, the more land grants you're going to get. Yep. You can get more tax cuts as well. And that's not because we're desperate for population after the first group that came here got decimated. Uh, but I digress. Here, we put family first. You'll find yourself a close-knit and familiar community amongst each other. There is no need for stranger danger in England when there are no strangers. It's not even that different of an experience. You still have the close community feeling you got back in England. And if you decide to come here, you will find many different types of colonies that you get to choose from. We have safe havens for religious groups, even Catholics. And we have established multiple churches everywhere. And even better than that, New England has the highest life expectancy of all other colonies of 45 years. Here, you can grow up to raise your children. And your children will be able to grow up to be raised. Are you also unhappy with the King of England, thinking he can disobey the Parliament? No more of that in the New England colonies, where our local councils are run purely by men and purely for the people. Here is a map of New England. As you can see, there is so much land to call your own. We have an abundance of seaside land and inland areas. These areas are ripe for farming, and you could be raking in the dollar bills pound sterlings in UK currency if you moved here. Here is our largest settlement right now. We call it Boston. There is so many people to meet and new places to see. There's nearly 3,000 houses full of ambitious settlers just like you. If you don't appreciate the rural lifestyle and you're looking for something more social, Boston is just the place for you. And if the Crown tries to establish a government where there is an unpopular leader and not helping us, the people, we can just do a glorious revolution and restore our individual colonies' government. Come to New England for the good trade, family influence, religious freedom, natural resources, land, and an amazing scenery. Call the number on your screen 163096NENG to apply for New England colonies, and the first 500 families to sign up will get a 300 acre headline land grant per person. That's 163069 6 N-E-N-G. Side effects may include decredit persecution, angry Indian rebellion, stepper chubber, pepper John Fox Dow, Depper, Smallbox Chick Fox Cypress, Chlamydia, Influenza, Pneumonia, Diphtheria, Malaria, Measles, Dysentery, Optimus, Ducks, Pink, Mumps, Tankers, Throw the Sember, Anchor, Whooping Cough, and Still Be Responded to Real Fear, Scarring Fear, One Fear, Two Fear, Red Fear, Blue Fear, and Typhoid.